how's everyone holding up in times of self-isolation? These are uncertain times, but I think um, it's also universe's way of telling us, slow down and take care of yourself and of each other. And I think while we are stuck at home, um, what's everyone doing? I think reading is one of the best things that you can do with your time when you're stuck at home. So I thought I would make a quick IGTV video of my favorite top five favorite books that I love, that I think you guys could read, I think. And I would love to know what everyone else is reading as well. So here's my list of my five top favorite books. Number one is Paulo Coelho's The Alchemist. This book, I, you know the thing about books is that you find a book at a time in your life when, you know, it's like the book comes to you. It's, I, don't, I really feel that about books. I don't think it's like, I would pick up this book maybe today and for whatever reason not finish it or for whatever reason this book wouldn't make its way to me. I think books find you at a time in your life when you need it. I think uh, books are really special like that. And I do have phases in my life when a book has completely changed me as a person, as a human, and um, it's just come calling out to me. So the first one is Paulo Coelho's The Alchemist. Read it, it's a brilliant read, it's a simple read. And um, even if you're not a reader, this is a great place to begin. So that's my number one recommendation. My number two recommendation is this book, which is How to Be Compassionate, a handbook for creating inner peace and a happier world, His Holiness the Dalai Lama. This book, as I shared in my previous post, I was in Goa two years ago and I was kind of lost and I was in a beach bed and somebody had forgotten this book there. And it just laid there and I picked up this book and I read it on my trip to Goa and it changed me. It genuinely did change me for better and I think like I said about books finding you I think this book found me so it's a beautiful read and I think someone shared on my last post that I should leave it on a beach bed again for someone else to find it I think which is a great idea so the next time I am in Goa I am going to leave it for someone else to find it someone else's life to be transformed for the better so read this book I think there's not a better time to be compassionate empathetic and um, just more tolerant of everyone else around you. And I think this is a beautiful read. Simple read, but beautiful. My third book is, okay, this is my most favorite book of my entire list. And also just my most favorite book in general. I think I have recommended it innumerable times on my IG. It's called Simple Abundance, A Day Book of Comfort and Joy. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. I try and gift it to friends, family, to whoever I think just uh, could benefit with this book. It's such a beautiful read. And the thing about this book is that it comes date-wise and month-wise. So it's beautiful. It's like, say today on whatever date you are, on March 20th, and you want a message today just for you. And you could just go to that date and read just that page, and that's about it. I think it's a beautiful book. It came to my life on one of, I heard about it first, I think, Oprah recommended it, and it's a beautiful read. So this is my third book that everyone can get a copy of. Okay, and the fourth book is, the first book by Oprah. I'm a huge, huge, huge Oprah Winfrey fan. I don't know who's not, but I think her book is fabulous. This is the first book she'd come out with, what I know for sure. Beautiful life lessons, just a great book overall, and uh, my favorite chapter is the one about the dog. So yeah, um, this is a very simple read. Again, if you are new to reading, or even if you're an avid reader, this is a great book. If you've not read it, grab a copy. And last but not the least, the last one on my list, the fifth book is another one by Oprah, The Wisdom of Sundays. It is, it's just, a compilation of her aha moments and they're this really really nice read i think it's all you know simple reads and i've made a compilation of really feel good books but more than that i think these books like i've said before will come to you at a time you really need it and uh, they're just beautiful and they are um, so i hope out of my list you find a book 
that's calling out to you. This is my recommendation of top five books to read while you're stuck in isolation. And I'm currently reading this. I've not read this. This is a new art and um, I'm reading this. I've not read it. Once I finish it, I will share what I felt about this book. So tell me who's reading what when you're stuck at home and um, what are your favorite books to recommend and what is on your reading list currently. Let's share. And um, guys, no matter what happens, I think uh, this shall soon be over. Let's not panic and let's make the most of the time that we have on our hands right now and let's you know help each other grow be better be positive and there's just so much uh, information out there so let's just uh, help each other to you know just feel better and i'm sure that this too shall pass very soon and uh, the beauty of it all is that we are in it together we're fighting this pandemic together and uh, look out for my page there are